I came up, Picasso as an artist, a painter The picture's so clear in the name of Living, giving, all that I got I'm on top now, I'm on top now I won't stop, finally I'm living Finally I'm living, I'm living Welcome to 419 The Experience. I am Tori. I'm Andrea. And I'm Flo. So let's dive into episode three. We actually had a really big release party on June 2nd at Bar Chicks. It was absolutely amazing. It was lit. We actually had I-47 in the house. James Worthy in the house. Woo! We had a lot of up and coming artists there to perform. We had some special guests, like celebrity guests. WNBA players came through representing. Our yes. friends and family came through and oh, represented. Yeah. The models, we cannot forget the models. The models yes. came. 419 deep. models came through. Whole squad. Yes. Everybody. Yes. Looking fancy. Yes. But forget all that. Episode three, you'll learn about Dre. Ooh. That was pretty <laughs> <high>. <laughs> what else gonna learn about Dre, Dre? Well, you'll learn what my passion is, which is dance. You'll actually get to see me dance, so stay tuned. Might learn something. Mm -hmm. Might learn how to dance yes. if you watch it closely. Cause she teaches us all how to dance. I don't know about flow. Yeah, she told me she this. Me and that's all dance. I do. Cause I, no, I didn't. Oh. She teach me though. She told me yeah. this. I didn't teach him anything. No more teaching. Yes. Oh. Stay tuned. <laughs> passion affects people different ways like for me passion is that thing in my voice when my voice get a little shaky I mean I really mean it like it's I can't I can't put a I can't describe it it's a feeling for me and everybody don't understand that so when you don't have it you can't identify with me mm. you know what I mean mm -hmm. so when you speak of passion passion goes further than any words like I said anything that you can see say whatever it's a feeling and everybody don't have that passion makes me cry mm. <laughs> because I really feel that thing you know like when I talk about my team and certain things I'm like that thing is deep I can't I can't even put it in words it's just a feeling it's, it's being grateful it's humble it's where you been, where you're going, who you got with you. It's that it's that feeling, right? It's just it's just something you just never can I can't ever describe it. I don't know about nobody else, but I describe it as go. <laughs> That's what passion is. What happens when you get on the mic? Go. Sick flow. It's the green light. It's the green light. Let's talk about the performances. Yes. Oh, that's that was lit. Yeah. L I T. Uh, <laughs> it was lit. Fire. It was. <laughs> um, our very own I forty seven. Oh, and he was he was <laughs> under the weather. Did y'all know that? No, no, the no man I did couldn't not. even talk. Like he was like, "Hey, Dad." <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, man, I got you, but he performed like he was at he 100. Did. He did. And he did his little dance and stuff, you know. Dance. It's a dance, y'all. It's a dance. You know what? The thing about him, when we watch him, it goes back to the very first time I seen him perform. He is a person who loves to perform. Absolutely. Like, every time I've seen him, it's been. Be it gets better and better, but he is a person from the very beginning, from the first word to the last word. It's really like enjoying it from, and not only that, he bring the crowd. So mm -hmm. very captivating. Oh my God! Right? That's passion. Yes. And action. Passion yes. and action. So where did he get that passion from? Get it from his daddy. 
Okay. Living la vida loca. Wow, wow. Upside, inside. Living la vida loca. Wow, wow. Yeah, so we ain't talking to him all night because all the ladies been in his face all yes. night. Although, this is my little baby. All the ladies. Although, y'all know. But well, let me tell you right now, we're very protective. I'm 47. He's the first artist out of 419. Yes. We're real protective. He'll cut your chest. <laughs> You can see his, you can get his single, like check him out please, like he's an amazing dope artist, like I'm not keep on this man. But we will touch you. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about James Worthy with the white suit. He had on the white suit. Honey. Oh, he was clean. He was clean, baby. He was clean. He was in there looking like Ice Man. Okay. He he like, he he like, came in like a smooth chocolate breeze on a summer day. Like he okay. Was go to the microphone and do like it's in the ice go under his feet and he go straight up on up to the front. He, well, he did that for the ladies. He did. It was all for he the did. ladies. He did. He did his song. How 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 the hook go? You remember the hook? You started off. Cause I want you. You girl, Ooh. <laughs> I'ma love you better. Hey, all right, all right. we don't need to show them our skills, mm -mm. like, because no, then they gonna right. want us to do a um. Mm -hmm. a yeah, then, yeah, you know, yeah. We might have to do that. brought this girl to the event. What's her name, Flo? Jamia. I think it's Jamia. Yeah, Jamia. Honey, this girl sang her face off. She did a, a Beyonce song. Mm -hmm. Listen, she had everybody in the building moved. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. she did. And what song was that she was singing? Best thing I never had. Girl, listen, all the me, all the women in the building were singing that song. <laughs> People were standing up, putting their hands in the air, honey. Uh, she, she can. That girl can sing. It wasn't like singing. It was like that. She does it effortlessly. Thing. Yeah. Like, yes. I've been. And she I've been did an acapella. She didn't even have any music. If you can sing with no music, you please come take for a 19 model, please. <laughs> <laughs> but then Chameleon took us to the islands with that laid back feeling good, okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Part. When she gets she on her did. toes and she does the dance on her toes, I think about, I dream about she's, doing that, but I can't. Really, <laughs> I think my toes person. would hurt. She's like, good. Like, got on them, like, how she does the little thing. Oh. But yeah, that was pretty dope. You got it. And then there was Tasia. Tasia. When they Tasia. <clears throat> you already know what it is. It's your girl Tasia. And it's your girl Chameleon. And we at the double single release party for I-47 and James Worthy here with the 419 models, 6 foot, DJ Q. We about to turn up, man. It's Don't the forget Atlanta about Collins Visual, baby. Can't forget about the Collins, Collins Visual. Visual. On point. Let's get it. Yeah, she's definitely a star. I, I think, and I've seen her a couple times perform as well, and it reminds me of when I first saw I-47. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, you just look, some people, you just know they got it. Yeah. But she's one that definitely have it with her nice long hair and her pink shirt. But this girl, this girl right here 
Wait till you guys see her on camera tonight. She is amazing. Wait till y'all see. Wait till y'all see. Tell the camera a little bit about you. Um, mm -mm. well, I'm just playing. Uh, my name is Tasia, and I'm from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Um, I do shows with my mom. She's my hype man. Uh, I met Flo not too long ago, and I'm just developing a new family and about to do something big for the world. So hopefully, y'all can stick with me as I go through that journey, and y'all see it happen right here, right now. But shout out to 419 Models. You know, keep doing big things. It's gonna happen for all of us. I know it. Well, let's not forget the dancers. Oh, Cause Daniel man. came out and Ooh, represented. Yes, honey. And he was just so nice and humble. Like you would never know all the things that he's done. He is definitely on his way. And with me being a dancer, like has a special place in my heart. Like he did an amazing freestyle, and people really enjoyed it. Danny Lopez uh, was in the, the last movie. Honey, honey, honey. With, with Tiana, Tiana Taylor. Taylor. I have a special place in my heart for dancers. Why, Dream? I don't even think I can do that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Drea is actually a really dope choreographer. She is really humble, but she taught me how to dance. I, I was telling this story the other day about how um, I used to always dance and like look around and look at people and see people watching and I'm like, but Drea taught me how to dance like nobody's watching. And that has been my key of being a better dancer. Flo, you think we got some footage of Drea doing her thing? We always got footage of Drea. <laughs> Drea, do we have some footage of you doing your thing? You may have some footage of me doing let's, my thing. Let's show some footage of Drea doing her okay, thing. Okay, y'all be ready. <laughs> Dance is like breathing for me. And it started when I was a kid. I was about four or five years old. So I was on every children team. I was on all dance teams, band auxiliary, and it just grew for me. So one of my favorite quotes is by Martha Graham. She says, a great dancer isn't great because of their technique. A great dancer is great because of their passion. And that's something I truly believe in. If you lead with passion, your heart will never lead you wrong. And that's what I do when it comes to dance. It is something that's deep inside of me and it's a passion. And I will be dancing until I literally cannot dance anymore. Getting baptized, do it for my own homies. They be back home, still homegrown. Trying hard to get back at it, but no one knows where I'm going. Running around like a jaguar, and now I'm headed back to the tropics. Going hard for my fam, yeah, and now I'm headed back with the profit, yeah. Just set the vibe now, make my heart speak like I'm rock set. All my homies, they told me don't let nobody stop it. To call me at the wrong time, now I'm falling. Fire, and I'm fading like a flower You running up, my hands are tied You coming back, but my hands are tied now We're making love, my hands are tied I'm waiting on you, trying to play, but my hands are tied now You running up, my hands are tied You coming back, my hands are tied We're making love my hands 
hands tied I'm waiting on you, trying to get but my hands tied now No, 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 no No, 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 no We have a mom who brought her boys on a set. Her name is Nikki. Nikki is relatable in so many different ways with all mothers. I think a lot of, especially single moms out here who are making it happen by themselves. And they're kind of thrown into situations where they have to figure it out. When the situations are happening, families don't really realize what they're doing and how it affects children in so many different ways. But Kamal and Corey, those are her babies. And she actually brought them to me we were doing a model call in their building where they were, and she actually brought, she was, her whole purpose was to bring one to me, but I saw both of them, and I'm like, oh my God, I need both these boys. These, they are beautiful. These are cute little boys. Corey is the oldest one, and he acts like a little man. He acts like he's the dad of Kamal. So what we learned early in our photo shoots is that we had to separate them, because you get two different pictures, and you get them in two different personalities, and you'll get two different dynamics. But once you hear Nikki's story, you will understand why the situation is what it is and why Corey is like the little man or the dad almost <laughs> to his little brother. He's really a protector. Like I said, you will relate. Most women will relate or even single fathers will relate to hearing this story from Nikki. The divorce. That was hard for them to watch, I'm sure. You know, like they watched their mom, they watched their mom go through a depression. You know, like they watched me lose 40 pounds. They watched me um, really just sit in a corner for three months. Like I didn't move. There were days that I would have to, like they'd have to pick me up off the floor and remind me to eat. I don't remember what they ate. I don't remember how they got to school. I don't remember me, myself, going to work or anything. So it's like it started there. I worked from different offices. Like different offices weren't willing to deal with the single mom and my new schedule. Um, you know, I had to work from office to office to figure out what works now in our new life. You know, we go from a five bedroom house and really nice cars and a lot of security to not really knowing like how we are how we're supposed to live like I didn't really know how to handle bills on my own so they had to watch me learn how to be a single adult which isn't the same as having you know a two parent household or even having a spouse from my end so a lot of times people would say to me you know you got to be strong for your boys but honestly we were strong for each other because there were a lot of days that I didn't have the strength but watching them gave me the strength to say okay we can do this we can figure this out you know so there were some days that Kamal was the, was the strong one because he was so young and he didn't really know anything that was going on or any changes in our life and so we would Corey and I would just kind of be in our mood and we'd see him just bouncing around the house all happy so it's like we would find our our happy place in him and then there's days you know Corey would be the strong one or I would be the strong one so when I say we're a team I say it I say it as genuine as I possibly can because that's we pull from one another. Nowhere to stay, you know. On days that we, on days that we had, when if I had them, then we stay at people's at friends' houses. But when I didn't have them, I mean, I kind of stayed in my car. I stayed at other friends' houses. I mean, some days I would like just go to police departments and sleep in, sleep in the parking lot in my car because I knew I was safe at a police department. You know what I mean? And so. We went from, you know, a secure job, a secure car, a secure house, to not having any of these securities anymore. And just life happening to us. Somebody, something like that, that kind of change, it's a lot. But when you have two people and they're looking at you like, 
you can do it and you don't even know if you can do it it's like I can do this I think but they think I can so I'm gonna show them I can and uh, I did it I had a clientele big enough to pay rent and uh, I got a car and you know things started moving a few months went by and Corey came to me and he said mommy I think you make more money now than you did when you were in the dental office and it really hit home when Kamal he wrote a uh, a paper at school and he he said that I was his hero I mean he could have picked anybody you know what I mean like he a little boy oh they have all these action figures and heroes and he chose his mom to be his hero and that really hit home you don't It's back to business. Back to business. We are having a model call because we're always looking for new talent. You'll see the Bronner Brothers hair show and you'll get to see me and my element teaching them posing and runway classes. And what else will you see, Tori? You cannot forget the music. The music. The music. Speaking about the music, we got JL getting his vocal lessons by one of Atlanta's finest, Amitria Doc. She mm -hmm. trains India Ari. She trains Angelina Cherie. Which actually that song, that song from the last episode, y'all gonna have to go back and watch it to hear Angelina Cherie's mm -hmm. song. And Janelle Monet. Yeah. Demetria is a beast vocalist, y'all. So you gotta keep watching. Keep Stay watching. tuned. Stay tuned. The night is over. Yes. But we're so excited. We are I don't even know how either we're gonna sleep very, very good. <laughs> Or we might not sleep at all. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's a valid point. Yeah. Like I'm like amp. Yeah. I know. We know what we had. So many people come out. Family, so friends, people you didn't think. Savannah you. was in the building. New York was in the building. Baltimore was in the building. Florida, Florida was, was in the, in the building. building. Atlanta was definitely in the building. Okay. Greensboro was in the building. Yeah. New Jersey was in the building. Man. Yeah. It all was, the support. Just yeah. yeah. Just thank you guys for watching 419. The experience. And you'll see, you know, this episode is going to be amazing. Ooh, yeah, it's, a lot, it's a lot going on and we are very appreciative of everyone. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. We have been trying to get Ashawn mm -hmm. to Atlanta. We're really asking you all to help us. That's right. Please, please go to our GoFundMe page. Send us anything that you can. One cent, two cent, three cent, more. A dollar. Help us. We really need him to be on the next episode. Or the episode after that. Or the episode after that. Help us. Please help us. Oh my god. <laughs> Make sure they can see the tears. Dang, my eyes are burning. Good lord, I don't want to try that part no more. <laughs> did you really That's just exactly he why, did. He that's did. why I don't even be crying, because that crap hurt your eyes. It be burning. I'm on this with you.